in this lecture uh, i would like to bring out some important uh, points about the minimum shift king waveform waveform okay so there are uh, a few points the very first point is um, the msk waveform uses half quasi-sinusoidal pulse shapes okay so it uses half cosine pulse shapes instead of a rectangular pulse so we know that in msk we have two channels right mm, the incoming pulse is divided into i channels and q channels in the i channel we use half cosine pulses like this okay it exists from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 okay and this positive pulse we use for logic one bit one logic one and uh, use negative cosine sodal pulses for uh, bit zero similarly in the q channel we use um, sinusoidal pulses so the pulse looks like this so it is offset by t by 2 this is 0 and this is t by 2 for uh, bit 1 and um, you use this type of pulses for uh, bit 0 okay so therefore in msk we use cosine sodal pulses uh, to represent the uh, data but uh, in contrast to you know uh, um, this MSK in QPSK we used uh, QPSK and uh, offset QPSK we used the waveform something called as rectangular pulse for bit 1 we use positive pulse for bit 0 we used a uh, negative pulse like this okay so this is first difference and the second difference second difference is that because the i and q channels use a half cosine and a half sine pulses respectively it turns out that the final modulated waveform which is the sum of i and q waveforms finally you 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 add i waveform and uh, q waveform put a summer here and add it up okay and this waveform the final output waveform has a constant envelope final waveform has constant envelope this you can see it here so this is a carrier this we have already seen carrier and look at here this is a sinusoidal modulation so here this is a bit zero this is a bit zero i'm sorry i'm sorry this is bit one this is bit one bit zero bit zero and so on in this this is bit zero bit zero bit one and this is uh, bit one okay and if you add this uh, you know let's say this is a q channel and this is i channel or the other way uh, or you can say this is i channel and the q channel if you add these two guys together and then you'll get a modulated final modulated waveform final modulated waveform in the final model modulated waveform if you notice the envelope is constant there is no change in the envelope therefore we get a constant envelope modulated waveform in msk so this is the second point and the third point third point is the phase changes uh, now do not occur abruptly in this waveform look at here the over the period of the interval uh, this is bit interval by the way this is bit interval now the phase changes will not occur at the bit interval on the other hand the phase changes gradually over the bit interval okay it occurs over the bit interval rather than occurring suddenly at the bit intervals therefore the phase change now do not occur abruptly at the bit interval in this waveform they occur the phase change occur continuously over the entire bit interval so therefore you know it is you know similar to oqps signal in uh, but uh, in oqps we know that at every tb seconds there is a phase there may be in a phase shift of pi by 2 but in this the phase shift is gradual rather than abrupt this is a third important important point the phase change is gradual gradual rather than phase change is gradual over the bit interval over the so this is the third point and we know that see there are no sudden phase transitions in fact uh, no we have continuous phase transitions so also i can say continuous phase changes 
okay our continuous phase transitions so there is no sudden phase transitions therefore you can uh, think of uh, an msk signal as uh, some kind of an fsk signal you notice here in this interval the frequency is let's say f1 and uh, if you not notice in this interval this is a bit interval okay uh, maybe i'll use some other color let me delete this guys uh, let me use pink so if you use in this bit interval the frequency is f1 and uh, in this bit interval the frequency is f2 in this bit interval the frequency is f1 again f2 see at every bit interval the frequency is no changing from f1 to f2 but in this duration in the in the first bit duration the frequency is f1 and here the frequency is f2 and here the frequency is f1 so therefore you can think of this uh, msk signal as some kind of an fsk signal because you find that in every bit interval you can interpret its uh, instantaneous frequency as one of two frequencies okay so this frequency uh, we already discussed like um, f0 plus uh, 1 over 4 tb and uh, this one we called 1 minus uh, sorry f0 minus 1 over 4 tb right therefore uh, that brings us uh, you know like um, to think of this msk waveform as a uh, uh, fsk waveform because in frequency shift keying for uh, every bit duration you are keep on alternating the frequencies one bit interval we use one frequency for another bit we use another frequency that means for if one comes you use one frequency let's say f1 and if zero comes you use frequency another frequency f2 so this is more or less you know similar to uh, your fsk so this is the interpretation of your msk uh, sorry fsk interpretation of msk okay and in the next lecture we will talk about the uh, fsk interpretation of msk how this msk is viewed as an fsk signal okay so these are the three important points that one should remember the first one is the very important thing is we use uh, no cosine sodal pulses and uh, if you see between i channel and q channel there is uh, you know uh, offset of uh, t by second durations offset of this is a single word offset of t by seconds okay mutually offset this i channel and q channel are mutually offset with respect to t by second durations or the bit interval durations tb seconds so this is the first point and here we use cosine sodal in the i channel and sine uh, half sine sodal signal in the q channel or the other way around no problem but on contrast to this in qpsk and offset qpsk we use uh, you know uh, rectangular pulses for uh, you know uh, to represent bits one and zeros positive pulse, pulse for bit one and zero uh, negative pulse for bit zero so this is the first point and second point once you add these two guys you'll get a you no know, final waveform and that final waveform is constant uh, uh, envelope okay con the there is no change in the amplitude variation uh, in the con envelope okay and the third point is the phase changes gradual over the bit interval rather than the phase sudden sudden phase jump at the bit interval okay so these are the important points that would like to bring out in this lecture in the next lecture i will talk about uh, the um, um, fsk interpretation of msk how this msk is viewed as an fsk signal okay so let me stop at this point thank you very much